Okay, so uh, F61 and F62, uh, along with some F70 type four so F72, F73. Uh, if they're intermittent, this is um, quite an easy way to diagnose this. So what you do is you just turn the boiler on for heating and stand back and watch the display. So here you'll see it's at 52 degrees. There we go, it suddenly jumped to 34 degrees. And if you just keep watching this display again, you'll see it should jump back up. Uh, I think it jumps back up to 52 degrees. Now this can take sort of five minutes to actually start happening. So with this boiler here, I stood there and watched it work for about five minutes and then it started doing this. Um, it's something to do with the low voltage um, DC on the PCB. So it basically, for a split second, it stops sending out the right DC voltage to the NTCs. Uh, therefore, the voltage it gets back is incorrect and it puts the wrong temperature on the display. But that also causes uh, earthing problems on the gas valve or what appears to be earthing problems on the gas valve or flame detection after the flame's gone out. So I'm going to um, I'm going to cut 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 that video back in again so it's up playing over what I'm talking about here. But that's if you have intermittent faults with an Ecotec. Just try that. Turn the boiler on, heating on, and just stand back with a cup of tea and watch it. And if you start to see that temperature jumping around like that, that is a good indication that the PCB has failed, or is failing, sorry. Uh, and it will just gradually get worse until you end up with a boiler that doesn't work at all. So another sort of good indication that you may be having that problem is if you pull down that front panel and the, the blue display is already lit um, that's a good indication that you've got problems with the low voltage harness the low sorry the low voltage side of that PCB so you should be able to stand back and watch this other issue happen and just confirm it all okay